Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog dot stamp with Elaine dot com. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'm making one last Halloween project for today before I say farewell to this year's crop of spooky projects. This is the card we'll be making. That's the inside. And for this, we'll need the cauldron bubble stamp set as well as the coordinating dies. The other stamp set I'm using is Artisan Textures. I was very brave and I actually used the Toil and Trouble DSP and cut them all up um, because the dies actually fit the cauldron. And the cat also can be cut from it as well as the witch. But the witch won't cut every witch in this series. It only cuts out the one with the grey hat and the gorgeous great cape. So th that will cut those but it won't cut any of the others. All the rest out by hand but I cut these two out with the die. And I also cut out the cauldrons. So to make my card you need a eight and a quarter inch by five and seven eighth inch piece of basic black cardstock and fold it in half. In metric that will be 14.85 by 21 centimeters. Then you need two pieces of whisper white both cut at three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches that's 9.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters. You need some extra whisper white cardstock and some basic black cardstock to cut out the spider's web. I've already pre-cut mine um, and I have put multi-purpose adhesive sheets on the back of my cardstock so I don't actually have to use the fine tip glue pen to glue my web. The inks I'm using are Lemon Lime Twist and Tuxedo Memento Black Ink, Shaded Spruce Combo Pack as well as the Light basic black stamping blend pens. I'm also using my Stamparatus which I've set up to stamp the sentiment so I can stamp it straight. I'm doing a mixture of traditional stamping as well as using the Stamparatus. So I've mounted my stamps on a block D and B and G. Now with this card um, I didn't want to waste the witch. In fact, you know, she's got no feet because it was at the bottom of the paper. But the rest of the image was okay, so I actually just only stamped the frogs to cover up her legs. Won't need as many as that, so I'll just do a little tweak on this design. Let's get started. First, I'm going to peel off the a multi-purpose adhesive sheet which is on the back of this spider's web. Peel it off and pop it on the top of my cardstock here. Then I'm going to just um, pierce a little hole there and one up here. I suggest you use Baker's twine I couldn't find mine. It's around somewhere but not where I thought it was. So I'm just using a retired product and this is the black metallic thread. So I'll bring back my um, spider. I'm just going to thread it through the hole. Pull it tight. Grab some washi tape and stick that down. I'm going to grab my metallic thread and it's so fine it's just impossible to work with so I'm going to make a loop and just thread that through then tie it in a double knot. or a triple knot just to make it safe. 
and I'm going to snip off one of the threads because I want it to look as though it's spun a web so I only want the single thread and I'm going to thread that through the hole and have it hang down and then more washi tape to anchor that down Next I'll grab the glue dots, put it on the back of the spider so that it won't flap around. Stick that down with washi tape so it doesn't pull out all fingers and thumbs. Hopefully that will stay. And I've got a glue dot on the back of that spider so that it will stay put. To stamp my sentiment lemonine twist and I think I might just stamp off and again oh, I forgot to press record so I've stamped the little stars and things with memento black ink and now I can then glue my witches the witch that I cut out so which one shall I have this one so I've just put a bit of Tombow glue on the back of that witch then I shall pop her there Next I'll choose a cauldron, maybe I'll have this one, oops, upside down. If you follow me you will have seen yesterday how I showed you to stamp the pre-die cut shapes so I already have my cat and I'll just bring in the lighter basic black stamping blend protect my work surface with a silicon mat and I'll just color the cat in these had adhesive backing on the back so all I have to do is just peel it off and I can pop the cat straight onto the card. I'll pop the rest of my figures back into this so I can use it next time. I'll stamp Happy Halloween on the inside. Stamped it with a splotchy stamp from Artisan Textures for a background. I'll stamp Mr Frog in the corner and some stars here. Colour the frog in with the shaded spruce. Apply adhesive to the back. So there you have it, a happy Halloween card. I'll be back this Friday continuing my Countdown to Christmas series. Have a lovely, lovely Halloween. I hope you get lots of treats and not tricks. Thanks for watching. Bye.